Okay, hello Scorpios. How are you doing? This is Heavenly Tarot. Doing a general read. All right, it may resonate, it may not. It is a collective. All right. Okay, for those that it does resonate with, um, I hope it can help you in the situation. Okay, enlighten you on something, help you move forward in the situation. Okay, and for the ones that doesn't resonate with, maybe next time. Okay, guys. All right, and welcome to any new viewers that I have that stopped by to check out my channel. Please subscribe. I'd love to have you for as a subscriber. I hope you enjoy this um, video read. And Scorpio, what I'm hearing for you guys is that life is full of contemplation. Okay? Life is full of com contemplation. All right? And when I close my eyes, I'm seeing a horse, a white horse. Someone is on the white horse. They're trying to take off with the horse. The horse is, he's jumping up. He's not going. You're trying to get the horse to go forward, but the horse is not going. He keeps jumping up in the air. His two legs in the air. So that's telling me you're being told the choice you're making is the wrong choice. You're trying to go the wrong way. Okay? And to me, that white horse is your angel guiding you. You need to listen to the guidance. You're being told to listen to your guidance. You're not listening. Okay? Whoever this resonates with. Okay? All right? And your guidance might be coming to you um, through dreams. Because when I close my eyes, that's what I'm seeing. So, do your dreams. Listen to your dreams and your in intuitions. Okay? Let, let it guide you. You're being told to trust and believe in yourself. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. Because maybe that's you not trust and believing in yourself. It's making you go the wrong way because you're unsure. Like, no, this way. Or you're going by the outer. Look at the inner. Look at everything. Whether it's a job, a person. Look at everything all around that person. The job. You know, make sure the you know, it's going to... Um, bless you to be have stability you know it's gonna have the raises that you're gonna need you know for the future wise you know to improve your finances in the future your stability in the future you know you need to look at everything okay all right so that's what i'm seeing okay i'm seeing that white horse and you're somebody on the white horse okay and the white horse is going up eee! is not moving forward he's just keep jumping up every time you keep trying to get the horse to go he jumps up on his hind two legs and he's not going the direction you want him to go so you're being told you're going in the wrong direction you need to believe in thyself trust in thyself okay okay or that's for some of you to trust in thyself okay there's someone who's trying to go in a direction and the direction is not going to benefit them and they're being saved from going in that direction. They just have to listen. Listen to their inner self, okay? Their higher power when it's speaking to them. All right. So let's get into the reading. See what this has for you. Okay. Um, Holy Spirit, um, show us Scorpio's energy in a message of advice that you may have for Scorpio. Show us Scorpio's energy and messages of advice that you may have for Scorpio. Leave that one because it caught in my fingers. Show us Scorpio's energy. Thank you. Messages of advice. Okay. Yeah, you guys, I'm still seeing that horse. Okay, um, Scorpio, okay. The cards I have for you guys are the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Page of Cups, the Chariot, okay, the Moon card, Eight of Cups, and Six of Wands, okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, clarify this Six of Pentacles and Scorpio's energy. Okay, this is Abundant Single, okay. Stability. Holy Spirit, clarify the Nine of Pentacles. And then this is also the card of Virgo. So somebody could be dealing with a Virgo. 
Okay. Okay. Somebody may um Scorpio, either you you may be seeing somebody um as abundant, okay? While they're single, you see them as abundant, okay? Doing their own thing. And you you're ready to offer them a cup. Okay? Of a new beginning. And this person may be and not in your vicinity, they may be a distance from you, okay? Four swords. You're praying on this person. You're meditating for this new beginning with this person. You're praying to your higher power for a new beginning. Or you're being told, pray. Pray to your higher power, okay? Concerning this person, open up. Listen to what your higher power is telling you about concerning this person, okay? It might be something you need to see that you're not seeing, okay? All right? Prayer works, I'm telling you. All right? Or vice versa. It might be somebody else, and they're being told that about you. All right. <clears throat> So nine of swords. Okay, some of you Scorpios are up all night worrying about something. There's something that's worrying you guys. Holy Spirit, clarify this nine of swords. Okay. <clears throat> You're being told it will be illuminated to you. The sun, sun card, happiness. Stop worrying. It will be illuminated. What you need to see, it will. It, you will be shown. Stop worrying. The Nine of Cups. Okay? <clears throat> There's something you have wishful thinking on. Holy Spirit, clarify the Nine of Cups. It's a situation you're wishful thinking about. But you're told to stop worrying about that. Things will be illuminated to you. Stop worrying. Ten of Wands. Okay, stability, comfort, and security. Who you want to take your share your um, stability, comfort, and security with? You have wishful thinking on that. Holy Spirit, clarify the Ten of Wands. Okay. All right. Yeah, you worked hard. Okay, you're working hard on building. Um, stability with someone a partnership with someone okay that you're sharing your stability comfort and security with okay yeah you're being told to stop worrying you need to get some solitude go out off to yourself and let it be shown to you what you need what you're worrying about what you need to see to help you in this situation okay all right the hermit card. You need to go in hermit card in solitude to yourself and get some clarity on some things about this person you're sharing stability, comfort, and security with. Okay? All right. Good luck with that. Okay, Scorps. All right. So then we have the page of cups. Um, <clears throat> water sign. Okay, this is you, Scorpio. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. You may be trying to have some creative ideas on a situation using your wisdom. Okay? With, concerning a relationship, a marriage. Or something long term if you're not in a marriage. Okay? Somebody has their guard up when it comes to you. They're fighting you off. Okay? So you need some wisdom, some guidance in that area. <clears throat> You need some guidance. You already have wisdom. You need. You might need to go to someone and talk to someone about this situation. Get some counseling. Okay, because they're fighting you off. They're not talking to you. Holy Spirit, clarify the um, Seven of Wands. They have their guard up. Okay, but you're planning, thinking, strategizing how to offer stability to them. You want the stability back in the marriage. So you're trying to find ways to heal it. But you can, you don't know how. You're stuck. You don't know which way to go. <laughs> there you go on that horse. Okay. Holy Spirit, clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, Three of Wands. Okay. 
you're you're thinking of turning your back on the situation it's giving up all together because you're tired of trying to work on it you, you're stuck you don't know how to go about healing the situation so your way is you're turning your back on the situation so that's what i was seeing you're going the wrong way about it you can't turn your back on the situation okay okay you need open communication that's the key open communication you need to have open communication with your person you have to be as expressive as your person is don't have fear don't hold anything back let it out you're not going to die letting out how you truly feel about a situation what you want okay this will help you get the balance back okay this will help you guys be able to reunite after you do this okay all right so that's your advice all right um the chariot card holy spirit <clears throat> holy spirit can you please um clarify the chariot okay somebody may be moving to where you are um scorpio or you may be wanting to move okay to another state in, in with someone else or just move or you want may you want to move forward in the situation okay holy spirit clarify the chariot clarify the chariot and scorpio's energy okay so you want to move um towards a scorpio you want to move in with the scorpio okay holy oh this is you <laughs> so yeah you want to move i'm sorry you want to move you might be wanting to move to another state you want to move holy spirit clarify the queen of cups clarify the okay Okay, so you may be in a situation that depresses you, okay? Or you want to move to someone that may, they may betray you when you move. You might be being told you're going to be betrayed, okay? You might be conflicted within yourself about this move, confused about this move, okay? This is somebody you want to reunite with. Somebody you want to move forward. Oh, this is already. Yeah, somebody you want to reunite with. Be careful. They might be betraying you. You need to open your eyes. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. You're going to get some unexpected news. It's going to be good news. It's something's coming. Something unexpected is coming. Quick, fast. It's going to be something that takes fast quickly. Okay? It may be this reuniting. Okay, but something's coming. All right, Scorpio. That's what you're being told. Okay, then we have the moon card. It's a secret. Some of you guys, there's a secret. Or some of you, somebody in your energy is holding a secret from you guys. Or you guys are holding a secret from somebody in your energy. Holy Spirit, clarify this moon card. And Scorpio's energy. Yeah, a secret. Somebody's deceiving you guys. Or this could be you guys deceiving someone. Holding a secret. Holy Spirit, clarify the seven of swords. And Scorpio's energy. Okay, somebody may be hoarding money. Hiding money from you. Or you're hiding money from somebody. You're hiding, holding a secret, okay? Hmm. Emperor, somebody's trying to control, either controlling your money, okay? Somebody's hiding money from you, they're trying to control it, maybe. Emperor. Or this person is bossy, controlling, they may be an Aries, okay? Your soulmate, the lover. This person is your soulmate, okay? So either you're hiding a secret, hide, um, affording money, hiding money from someone, or they're doing this to you, um, Scorpio. And this is your soulmate. It's telling you your soulmate is doing this. They're bossy controlling, or is you this bossy and controlling? You're trying to control the finances, or they're trying to control the finances, and they're hiding some of the finances from you. All right. Okay, so next we have the Eight of Cups. 
Okay, somebody's walking away. Holy Spirit, clarify Scorpio. The Eight of Cups and Scorpio's energy. Somebody's turning their back on a situation. On some options that they had. Somebody no longer is looking at options. Scorpio, this may be you. You're walking away from options you may have had. Holy Spirit, clarify the Seven of Cups. Okay, three cards. Okay, and you want to move forward in a success with your family. So you're in a family situation where you had options, but you're turning your back on options, and you want your family. You want a success at moving forward with a family member. I mean, some family. Or it could be family members. They're at a distance from you. Or this is somebody you want a family with. It could be a Sagittarius, okay? You have to travel to get to this person. Or this is somebody you had emotional distance with. So however that resonates with you guys. So if somebody you, you want to move forward in, somebody you have a family with, like your marriage. You want to move forward in your marriage, okay? And close the gap in the emotional distance that you guys have, okay? Or you want to move forward with someone... You chose over these options that's at a distance from you. You have to travel to get to this person, okay? All right, you want to have a family with this person, all right? So however that resonates with you guys, okay? Mm, I'm hearing apply pressure. Pressure applied. <laughs> so concerning this, maybe this was took a lot of work to do this. Or it's going to. All right. Um, six of Wands. Charging forward in a victory. Hmm. I'm hearing something about levels. I'm hearing there's levels to this. So when I'm hearing there's levels to this, it's not easy. You got to go up some levels, six of one, or the person, they're expecting more out of you. Six of one, this person you want to, what? This person you want to charge for to in a victory, you might have to, they might be expecting more out of you because I'm hearing there's levels to this. So they're expecting a lot out of you. Okay, nine of wands. Okay, this person has their guard up when it comes to you. Yeah, so they're expecting you to put your all in this. It's not going to, maybe you. this is somebody you might be married to. Okay, so say you guys, you they felt that you deceived them. Okay, so they're not making it easy for you to come in again. Okay, maybe you guys constantly go through this. They're not making it easy for you anymore so there's levels to this you got to really put in the effort it's not going to be easy this time okay before you guys can move on to better waters they have their guard up to you because there's levels to this it's not easy anymore for you to just say this one thing and get back in their good graces holy spirit clarify the six of swords and scorpio's energy okay yeah you're gonna have to work hard at building the stability back between you and this person. Holy Spirit. And you're going the wrong way about it. The way you're trying to go about it. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. You realize in their worth. The Taurus Queen of Pentacles. You realize this person's worth. Okay. But they expect you to show them. That you realize their worth. Okay. They're not making it easy for you to get back in the door again. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the tower card. Tower moment. You guys are going through a tower moment right now. Karma. Cycle. Y'all keep going. You you keep going through the same cycle. You got to change something about that cycle. Okay? Change something about you. How you're going about getting back in that door with this person. You got to go through a transformation. They want to see change within you before they take you back. Okay? They want to see you show the change, not say it. Okay? And this is going to be a challenge for you because you're used to doing things the way that you've always done them, okay? But with determination, it could be done, okay? That's what you're being told, all right? Okay, so let me see your... Um...
Um, Holy Spirit, show us Scorpios some love messages that they need to hear. Holy Spirit, show us Scorpios love messages they need to hear. Show us love messages for Scorpio. Okay. Okay, soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims it. It simply allows and gives. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Trust transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, Scorpios, I hope you guys enjoyed the read. Okay, you guys, please subscribe, like, and share. All right. I love you guys. I wish you guys all the love. You have all my prayers in this situation. All right. Stand your ground, you guys. Fight for what you love. What you believe in as well. All right. Peace, love, and happiness. I'm out. All right. Good night, you guys.